torsion bars are stuck really good so I think they're stuck on the pivot so I'm working my way down to it by taking everything else out of the way the torsion bars will come out last I guess got the sway bar disconnected upper ball joints disconnected I'm going to take these two bolts out in this hole control arm will come out and then I'm going to take the whole lower control arm out as an assembly so for right now I'm going to take off the steering and uh, just keep working my way around getting all this stuff out of the way and then I'm going to worst case scenario cut the torsion bar All right, guys and gals, here's what we've got. All right, this is all the steering and suspension parts uh, scattered out. We're going to go with Moog everything here, Mo uh, Moog ball joints, Moog tie rods, Moog, uh, you know, idler arm, center link. If it's steering related, it's being replaced, and we're going full Moog on this thing. The only parts that aren't going to be moved are the uh, energy suspension, uh, control arm bushings, upper and lower. That's going to be uh, the only non non moog parts that are on this thing. So let me give you guys a rundown on what happened last night while, while we were tearing this thing apart. I'll tell you what, this truck does not want to give up any parts. This thing has got enough corrosion that things are just frozen wherever they can be. So we had to beat things with a sledgehammer we had to cut things out with uh, the torch but i think we're we're on the right track there's nothing here anymore there's no control arms upper or lower there's no steering linkage there's no hub there's no knuckle there's no torsion bar this is how far you've got to take it down in order to be able to do any of these bushings so uh, if anyone's curious as to what the lower control arm bushing looks like this is it right here this thing is going to be a huge pain in the dumper because um, the one that I did on green truck was in much better shape than this and that was a pain in the dumper so I can only imagine this one after being in here for 26 
almost 27 years, um, I can only imagine that this is going to fight me every step of the way. Now, you will notice that this bushing is actually not in bad shape at all. And you will find in most cases that this is how they come out. They are in excellent condition. So usually the control arm bushings on the lower are, are not your problem. But I've already gone this far. I'm going to put the poly ones in because I don't want to I don't want to screw around. I don't want to mix rubber and poly together. So we're going to replace both of them. This bolt here for holding the upper control arm on, the rear bolt, that thing was so stuck that we had to get uh, super strength in here to get that out. This one, on the other hand, came out just by the electric impact, impact gun, and that was simple and easy. So be ready for a fight. These are 22 millimeter bolts. That's going to be a joyous occasion. You're just going to, you're going to be tickled pink with that. This one here is also a 20, that's a 24 millimeter nut right there that holds the whole assembly on. Now, what I had to do because the torsion bar was so fused that I had to unbolt this and then pound everything from the front using a sledgehammer. And at the same time, had to be on the back side prying this anchor off of the control arm by sticking a pry bar in here and prying it out. Now this is how it sits on the truck. So you got your control arm here and this anchor is on the back side of it. You can see the two holes right here and here that match with these two holes right here and here. So you have to separate this from the control arm. Technically, this torsion bar, or what's left of it, the torsion bar should slide right out of this, but not with this. This truck is completely fused. Uh, I pounded the hell out of this thing, and I may have made a little headway. I mean, it looks like I made just a hair headway on this thing, but it certainly wasn't enough to be able to get it. I mean, it was just so stuck that in order to pull the, the torsion bar out, one of two things has got to happen. The torsion bar has got to slide out of this anchor so you can slide the torsion bar all the way out of the back of the truck. Or the torsion bar has uh, got to come out of its rear anchor. This is the rear anchor right here. So when you're looking at this, this is a whole piece. The torsion bar should slide right out of this anchor. Well, we were completely rusted solid on both ends. So neither of these were going to come out. So I was forced to, um, you know, let uh, Justin go at it with the torch. So he cut it, and it just slid right out after that. No screwing around. It's unfortunate because these torsion bars were still good. There's just no way we were going to get it out of the truck using traditional hammering means. So steering linkage is now out. Uh, that was actually pretty easy. Uh, this is the upper control arm. That 22 millimeter bolt I just told you about was mounted here. Um, and that just did not want to come out to save its life. I'm, I only started taking the passenger side apart. I think all I've done is unbolt half of the shock absorber. Um, the steering linkage obviously has been removed. And then I also, the idler arm was located here. It's three 19 millimeter nuts and bolts that easily came out so that was that was easy also had to disconnect the uh the sway bar links that's done this torsion bar is probably going to put up the same fight as the last one um these are 19 millimeter nuts and bolts they look crusty but they actually came out i'm still going to replace them though because uh i might as well not have to deal with rust on that level there uh, I left the caliper hooked up just because it can sit up here and then I'll just tie it out of the way when I'm done getting this control arm out of the way and then that'll be it this truck will have no front suspension at all at that point and then it's just rebuilding you know re uh, reinstalling everything that I took out just using new parts <sighs> so in case anybody was wondering how much fun these things are if it's rusty, you're going to be in for a fight. Uh, there's the, the nut 
for the lower control arm, I recommend uh, getting that out of the way uh, early on. Just make life easier because you're going to end up beating stuff and heating stuff and cutting stuff if it's in any condition like this truck. And this truck is not what I consider in bad condition. It's got its it's got its crust in places, but it's really like not bad compared to some of the trucks that are actually around here where the beds are absolutely rotted off and falling apart. Uh, if you can even find one of these trucks in this particular area. That's what I spent all night on last night. And it didn't look like I got a lot of headway, but when you're dealing with rusty bolts, yeah, this is a lot of headway. So hopefully uh, this is going to show you some, some tricks around things. It's all just about, you know, using as much penetrating oil as you can. When, it, when they're in this condition, that's all you can do is just hose it down and uh, just beat on it. Because that's all, that's all it knows is it needs it to be beat on. And if you're replacing stuff, who cares if you break things? The only bolts that I would recommend that you don't break are these two for the upper control arms. If you break those off in there, uh, boy, you're in for a, a hell of a good time. Uh, they are luckily heavy duty bolts. I am soaking the ones that I've got going on over here and I will just let them soak for a week because I'm pretty sure these two are gonna give me a battle as well. You can see them in place here. This one over here as well, if I can get the camera in there. Those two bolts were the probably the worst that I've had to deal with besides hammering out this, uh, this torsion bar. Still don't have both torsion bars out. I just have the one that was fun enough for one night. We'll get the other one out the next time I'm out here. Uh, if you guys have any comments, questions, or suggestions, just leave them down there below. Uh, I will answer I answer all my commenters uh, on some form or level, uh, or at least like the stuff that you guys say. I appreciate all the compliments. Uh, you guys can email me at uh, NissanRallyCrossTruck at gmail.com. I'm also on Facebook. Just do at symbol Nissan Autocross Truck. I've got a bunch of people liking that page. You can interact with me directly there. And uh, once again, I appreciate all the subscriptions and likes. We're almost at 700. That's pretty incredible. I hope to hit 1,000 and who knows after that. Nismo D21 is a channel dedicated to Nissan hard bodies and Pathfinder uh, repairs and restorations. Um, we do builds, we do racing, we do car shows. Um, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, please uh, subscribe. And thanks for watching. You guys take it easy now and have a great day.